Australia, but, and this is the reason why I won't kill anybody, I wasn't actually born in Australia. I was born in Spain. So I'm just going to have sex with your wives. <laughs> and drink a little wine. I'm sorry, okay? I can't help it. Alright? But anyway, um, but I, I'm now living in Russia, and I have been for a little bit, on off. Um, I, I lived in Russia, and then I moved to Spain, and then I moved back to Russia, and finally, uh, I've decided that I will learn Russian. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Yeah. 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 Your language is starting to freak me out, though. <laughs> um, just, just a little example, because, you know, the case endings and all that, yeah, the usual crap everyone complains about, and the fact that you can juggle with frickin' word order and say whatever you want. But I was in St. Petersburg, and there was this beautiful mural of the world with this dove above it. And it said something like, Mir, Mir. And I went, uh-huh, right. And, and so I went to my girlfriend, I was like, hey, Mir, does that mean peace? And she was like, yes. I said, okay. And the other Mir, that means the world. I went, oh, how beautiful is this? The world and peace all together. Russians don't distinguish a difference. The world is peace, and peace is the world. <laughs> and then I thought, Ya chachu mir. Which one exactly? Do you want peace, or do you want the world? My girlfriend looked at me and went, it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. So I don't know if I'm dating Gandhi or Hitler. <laughs> kind of freaks me out a little bit there. <laughs> Either way, it was kind of hot. <laughs> but, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, maybe some of you didn't get the joke. Um, because I said Hitler when I probably should have said Gitler. What the fuck is with you and the G's and the H's? The translation is ridiculous. Every H becomes a G. Hero, Gido. Gero? That, that's a Greek kebab. That's a gyro. That's a gyro. That's a Greek kebab. A shawarma. Alright? You are a Gido. Well, fuck you too. But the best one I had for me was when I was walking through a bookshop and I saw, well, uh, from the cover and the picture, I thought, oh, it's Harry Potter. But I read it and went, Gary Potter. <laughs> Holy fuck, I couldn't stop laughing. Because let me tell you, Harry, well, there's a prince Harry, right? It's a prince's name. Harry is a noble guy. Gary is a Liverpool supporter. <laughs> Who beats the shit out of people with glasses, all right? That's fucking Gary. And then poor Gary, he's like, now you can call me fucking Gaza. <laughs> He'll be the guy. No, those books will be completely changed. You cannot have Gary Potter be afraid of Voldemort. No, it's Voldemort who's afraid of fucking Gary Potter. <laughs> because all of a sudden, they'll be there going, the guy next to the will be like, what? why are you afraid of, of, of Gary? I, I don't understand. He'll be like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's fucking Gaza. No one fucks with Gaza. But you gave him the scar. That's what I tell people. It's not true. I went to kid him as a little baby. He just stood up, broke his baby bottle, and cut himself. I went, I'll fucking take you, mate. He's like fucking begs me from train spotting. Motherfucker is psychotic. I'm telling you, I'm not going there. But your whole crux is there. Fuck it, I'll just wait till he gets older, goes to a rave, and overdoses on ecstasy. Shit, I'm not fucking going there. I mean, even Gary, the part in the book where he's also doing his potions class, Snape will be looking at him going, Harry Potter, what do you think you are doing? I am mixing. My potion is... Red Bull, Jägermeister, a shot of gin, and three fingers of vodka. And 
Mr. Potter, what do you think you are going to accomplish with this potion? I'm going to give it to Hermione. In ten minutes, she'll be dancing on the table, ripping off her panties. <laughs> Continue on, Gary. You're my favorite student, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Fantastic,